We need to discuss something. It's, uh, it is well known, if you're a regular listener to the podcast, that uh, Sona is, I don't want to say an amoral person. Come on. Uh, uh, but uh, Sona has committed many crimes. Uh, you've confessed on the TV show to your thefts in the past, oh. your, your sordid past, uh, stealing things in stores. And um, before uh, COVID hit, we actually wanted to shoot a remote where we brought you back to all the different stores where you've stolen things had you admit to stealing them and then uh, return those goods or pay the cash equivalent. And we were going to do that, but then I think this is the biggest tragedy of COVID. Oh, uh, we weren't yeah. able to shoot that remote. <laughs> that and, of course, the, the, all the loss of life and stuff, oh. um, economy. But, but yeah, one of the biggest tragedies of COVID was that we didn't get to shoot that remote. Oh. Uh, but we were just chatting and Sona started to reveal another of her heinous crimes. Okay. And I felt we needed to um, record this because I don't even understand. Yeah, explain this again. Ex explain it's not, this. It's not this, heinous. Explain this grift. Uh, you started to talk about in back in the day when you would go to an all-you-can-eat sushi place. Continue, Sona. Okay, so the first of all, it's not a heinous crime. It's I think it's- well, Let's call it despicable. <laughs> despicable, thank you. Yeah. Why don't we let the jury decide, the jury being our listeners. Um, okay. And of course, me being the judge, mm -hmm. so I can overrule the jury in this weird kangaroo court. Go ahead, Sona, tell us about okay. this- Scam. So if you go to some all you can eat sushi restaurants, some people overorder and then they end up with a lot of extra sushi. So because a lot of people would overorder, these sushi restaurants will charge you for whatever sushi you don't eat. Right. Yeah. As they should. Because it's not like they can give that sushi to someone else. Right. And, and you know, it's sushi. It's not like you're going to a buffet and like, you know, you're like piling up your plate. You're ordering sushi that people are making. Anyway, yeah. so. This sounds like a very sane and rational yeah, policy. I okay. So my, my friends and I, we would go to these all you can eat sushi restaurants and we know we had a little bit to drink, you know, like. You'd are be you like, drunk yeah. now? Yeah. <laughs> I wish. You, but you know what another, I mean. Slurred. Well, you, yeah, you would have a lot to drink or have a massive cerebral event, a, so, a brain bleed. Yeah, yeah, the sake's flowing, the Sapporo's flowing, and then you just order too much. And what I would do is I would, when the waiters weren't looking, I would shove all of the extra sushi, which was a lot, into one of the dinner napkins and then I would like hide it in my shirt or shove it in my purse and then I'd go to the bathroom and I'd throw it away. What? what? You wouldn't even you wouldn't, you wouldn't even, even you wouldn't it? take it home and eat it? That's that's <laughs> you that's threw it away? Waste. We just you threw ate it away? an all you can eat meal. Why would I want more sushi and why would Maybe I want you more give sushi? it to somebody? Who? Somebody who could oh. eat it. What kind of creep takes out sushi from their purse wrapped in You a apparently. <laughs> no, but I mean first of all, just imagine for a second. Imagine <laughs> that you are a tuna and you're swimming in the sea. <laughs> And suddenly you're snared in a net and hauled up. My great purpose, I'm going to be some sushi. You think for a second, well, my life has been short, <laughs> but it, I see that they're taking me to a sushi restaurant. And uh, before I completely lose consciousness, uh, at least myself, I will create happiness. My flesh will go to sustain another species in this great mystery and cycle of life. At least that gives me some joy. Wait, what? they're chopping me now. Okay, I'm still somewhat alive somehow. And they're putting me with some rice. Hi, I'm Bilbo the Rare Octopus. <laughs> they're bringing me over to these ladies. Oh, well, at least I, I'm just kind of, I can't believe I'm still kind of alive, but I am. I'm able to see, but at least I'm going to go into the mouths of... What? Shoved in a napkin? My entire corporeal form? My body? She's taking me maybe outside to give to someone who has no food? Wait, not the ladies room! Shoved, shoved in a trash can? Jesus, Mary and Joseph! I'm a Catholic tuna fish! Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, we rest our case. <laughs> That's awful. Sona. That's the worst. Sona, that's the worst thing I've heard. Stop. That is worse than that guy that was trying to, like, people that are faking vaccine cards or making fake COVID serums that don't even work. 
Come You're on. You're a worse criminal than them. You threw fresh sushi <laughs> into a ladies' room trash can. How recent ago yeah. was this? How uh, recent ago? <laughs> they play off. Let, a second. There's a, se- there's a separate trial. Gorley's no. trial is coming after no, this one. We'll I get to that soon. I you, I am not <laughs> under oath. I, it was, you know what? It was, I was working for Conan. So it was within the what? last. Like, oh. I thought this was something you did when you were 16 or 17. She learned it from watching Wait, you, Dad. I, seriously? No. This, I, I thought was this like, was a long time ago. I was like 20s. Sh- Maybe. Working for me, late 20s. Late 20s. Oh. Early 30s. Late late 20s. I don't Criminal. Know. War criminal. It's not. Cr- Why are you making the restaurant all you can eat sushi and then charging me for the extra sushi? Just say it's a normal sushi restaurant. What's the That's point? That's true. You do have a point there. Thank mm-hmm. you. Thank well, you. No. No, you have no point. Oh, oh. Leave it there. Pay the price. Those octopi- gave their lives. And we all know those are very intelligent creatures. They've written books. Hmm. They, uh, there's that octopus, man, this, they have the brains of like a, I think they've done studies. Octopi have the brains of like a 25 year old graduate. What? Yeah. yeah, Someone who went to Brown university. Uh That's how smart they are. Hmm. You know, that's how smart. And, and they gave their lives and you're like, eh, I don't want to pay for this. There's a documentary called My Octopus Teacher. So that means that octopuses are like certified tenured teachers. What? Also, They're did professors. you see, did you stay and watch the credits? You know who directed the movie? The Octopus. That's right. Oh, God. That's right. And you know who got the funding for it? Other octopi. Mm-hmm. That's how smart they are. Well, and that's how smart they be. <laughs> um, sorry, but if we're talking about sea creatures, I had to go a little bit into a pirate. Uh, Sona, yeah. you are undoubtedly the worst person I've ever met. <laughs> what the uh, hell? Yeah. I'm getting now where I'm, I'm looking. I have a device here that allows me to see the listeners. And yes, overwhelmingly, it's coming in. People think that you're a, a monster. Oh, yeah, we're going to have to monster. remand you into custody right now, straight from the courtroom. Right. Yeah, you're being sensed. You know what we're going to do now? We're going to go back to that all-you-can-eat sushi place. And you have to and barf it up. And you are going to bring the lo- live fish to those restaurants. What? How you're is- going to bring live fish to those restaurants and you're going to show them what you did. They'll be kept alive in oxygenated tanks. Huh. And uh, they will, and you will confess to the crimes at that restaurant. Okay. And then we'll leave the fish there at the restaurant so they can be butchered and thrown out by someone else. <laughs> I didn't give this punishment a You're lot of You're really bad at punishments. I was about to say that. So you want me, wait, you want me to bring fresh fish to a sushi restaurant and then make them make me sushi? And then- I'm not great at punishments. Okay. Uh, but Sona, if you disagree with me, I'll put you in a jail cell made of white chocolate and you'll be forced <laughs> to watch Different Spoons, seasons one and three. That's your punishment. Different oh. Spoons? I don't even know what that is. <laughs> you mean silver, different strokes and silver spoons? Silver Strokes. Oh, you're what? on trial. So you'll get, what you're gonna just watch, happened? You're on trial. You're going to watch Silver Strokes and Different Spoons. <laughs> silver Strokes is what you're having right now. Yeah. <laughs> you messed um, up. I love it when you mess up. This yeah, is my did favorite. I mess up? You're or trying to make I, me look yeah, bad. You no, up. on per. You know what I did? Huh? I switched it around on purpose oh, to give everyone out no. there in their morning commute also, a little giggle. I, I don't want to do this because I hate hate when people do this. But it's not octopi; it's octopuses. It's Greek. Ooh. I was referring to octopuses that have been ground up and put into a pie, <laughs> which is referred to as an octo pie. So that's what I was referring to. I don't know what you were talking about, but I'm correct. When octopuses are chopped up and minced and put in a pie, it's an octopi. Your Honor, I rest my case. Sona, guilty. Gorley, guilty. Oh, here's the verdict for Conan. Oh, innocent and gets a $900 credit at any Bob's Big Boy in the area. No way. Nope. Uh, mm-hmm. Trust me, nope. I'm judge, jury, and sex executioner. Oh, um, what a way to die. 